best export settings for YouTube in Premiere Pro. The first thing, you want to go into your sequence. I presume you're finished editing now. So go to the start of the sequence, press I on your keyboard, then go to the end of the sequence, go all the way to the end like this, and then press O. This is just to make sure that we're exporting the whole video. Next up, you want to go to the export page. So click on export up in the left corner here. And this is where we get to the good stuff. The first thing you want to do, always want to do, is to give the file a name. I'm going to call it best YouTube export settings. Next up, you want to set a location, so just click on this blue link here. Then go to the location where you want to save your video and click on save. Easy as that. And now is the one of the most important settings, which is the format. And there is a huge speculation on the internet which format you should use. And most people will recommend the H.264. But after testing close to a probably hundred different export settings for YouTube and also creating hundreds of videos myself, I found that choosing the H.265 actually gives slightly better quality. You can see I also have made a preset, but I will tell you more about this later in the video. For now it will say custom for you. And then next up just click on a video. And from here, to get all the correct settings, simply click on match source and the export settings will match how uh, the video looks like when you're editing your video. Doing that, you will have the correct frame rate as well as the frame size, but there is a plot twist when it comes to the frame size or the resolution. Here is the thing, you can just tick off this box if you want to change it. So if your video is full HD, and you're not very famous on YouTube, then your video is going to be highly compressed and the quality is going to be pretty bad once uploaded to YouTube. And if this is the case for you, you can simply go ahead and choose the Quad HD or the UHD. And doing this, YouTube will actually compress your video less resulting in a higher quality. So this is completely optional. If you have a lot of views on your video, simply choose Full HD. But I'm going to choose the Quad HD to avoid the high compression rates. And then I'm going to click on More. Now you also want to check off these two boxes, Render at Maximum Depth and Use Maximum Render Quality. This will ensure the highest possible quality. So I recommend ticking those two off. Then the time interpolation, leave at frame sampling. Next up, if hardware encoding is available to you, choose that one. If not, it's okay. And if the tier high is available to you, choose that one as well. And then we get to the most important settings, arguably the most important settings when it comes to quality. And that's the bitrate settings. Here, I personally going to choose the CBR to ensure that I have the highest quality possible throughout the whole video. But if you have a slow internet connection or you have not much space in your storage unit whatsoever, it's completely fine choosing the VBR as well because that will give you a smaller file size. But if you can afford it, go with the CBR. And then it's the target bitrate. This one is a bit tricky on what you're going to choose. But as a rule of thumb and many other YouTubers rule of thumb is that if you have a full HD video, then you simply set the bitrate to the same as your frame rate. So if we look down here, you can see I have 30 frames per second. And for full HD, then you set it to 30 Mbps, megabits per second. However, if you chose Quad HD or Ultra HD, then you want to increase the bitrate a bit higher. And for this, I'm going to use my cheat sheet here, where I've written all the best export settings for the different resolutions, as you can see here. If you want access to this, I will leave a link in the description. But you can see here for the 4K, 24 FPS, I recommend 50 bitrate. And in my case, I recommend going with 60 megabits per second. And if you want to avoid the hassle of typing in all these different settings all the time, 
You can download this preset here from my Dropbox. And once you have installed it, you can open this menu. And if you scroll down, you will have a bunch of different uh, YouTube export settings. So in my case, I want to upscale the video. I can just choose the Ultra HD one here, which is 30 frames per second. Then I click this one. And now all the settings will be pre-filled how you want them. And you can simply just click on export. If I go ahead and just double click the number here, I can type in 60 and double the frame rate. And if you're not able to increase it further than 50, you sometimes have to just switch the tier to main and then back to high and you will be able to increase the bitrate. I think this is some kind of bug in Premiere at the moment. However, next up, you want to set the quality against highest to get the highest quality. Next up, the audio. You want the audio format to be AAC and you want the audio bitrate to be 320. That's all good. Once that is done, you can see here on the right, under output, all the different settings. And just make sure that you're following all the settings for the correct resolution for you easy as that. Now you can simply export, upload to YouTube and you will have crystal clear quality. So please like this video if you found it helpful and thanks for watching.